Hi there and welcome back to the Unity Basics series. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a very simple lives manager and how to update that via UI text. Let's get started. So the basic premise here is if the player ball touches the ground or touches an enemy object, the lives need to go down and the platform needs to stop moving. So to make this work, we're going to be using Unity's built-in collision checking system. But for that, we need to make sure that we have collider components on every single game object. Next up, we need a new script to manage our lives. So let's create a new lives manager script and attach it to our player game object. So the first thing I'm gonna do when I'm opening up my lives manager script is I don't need to start in the update methods in this one, and I'm going to create a new variable just to hold my player lives. I'm going to set it as a float value because I don't want decimals, I only want whole numbers since it is a lives manager, and I'm also going to put static right before that, and static essentially just means that there's one instance of this across my entire game and it's gonna make it a little bit easier for me to access it via other scripts. Next up on the list, we need to somehow tell Unity the difference between, say, an enemy object, the ground, and then maybe a positive object like a coin in the future. And how we accomplish that is through adding tags. So now I'm gonna go into my ground object and my enemy objects and create two different tags, one named ground and one named enemy. Now that we have those set up, we can go back into our lives manager and set up an onCollisionEnter function. I'm going to be naming this function a private void since there's no real reason to make it public and it is not returning any value. And now you'll see a couple of things inside the parentheses. You'll see a collision with a capital C and a collision with a lowercase c. The first one is actually data that is being passed through from Unity and the second one is how that data is being stored as our variable. So we can call it something else if we want to, but for simplicity we can just call it collision with a lowercase c. So now what we can do with this is say, if the tag on the game object that I am colliding with is equal to ground or is equal to enemy, make something happen. Since the player is going to be colliding with harmful objects, we want the player lives to decrease by one. However, in the future, if we want the player to maybe get an extra life if they collide with something else, this framework sets us up for success. We also want to perform a check here that if the player lives are equal to zero, we want to destroy the game object that this script is attached to. Let's save that script and head on back over to Unity. And now we can see that once our player ball collides with either an enemy object or a ground object, that the lives decrease and our game object is destroyed. However, our platform is still moving, so let's change that. So if we head on over into our platform movement script, we can see that we already have the code available. We're just going to perform a simple check here. So instead of saying, make the platform move continuously, we're gonna perform a check and say, if the player lives are greater than zero, okay, now move the platform. And now if we head back on over into Unity, we can see that once our ball collides with another object that we are getting the correct player lives debug message and the platform stops moving on player death. So now that we have this working, let's translate this to UI that the user will actually be able to see. I don't know exactly what happened here with my screen recording, but you'll want to right click, go to UI and then select canvas. And then underneath the canvas, you're going to want to right click again and go down to UI and select a new text mesh pro element. This is the element that we are going to be changing later through code. However, I'm just gonna put in some default text of lives colon one. Now I'm going to position this at the upper right and make sure that my rec transform is set to that point. And then I'm gonna go back to the canvas and make sure that the canvas is set to scale with screen size. For some reason, the default is uh, the pixel size. I don't know why, but you always want it to scale with the screen size. And now what we need is a UI manager. So let's create a new script for that and make sure that it is on the parent UI canvas game object. Now if we go into that script, the first thing that we need to do is make sure that we are using the unityengine.ui namespace and also the text mesh 
Pro namespace, which is just TM Pro. And for starters, we're just gonna set up a simple variable to hold that text. So I'm going to name it public text mesh pro u GUI, and then I'm going to name it lives text. Now, if we go back into Unity and click on our canvas game object, we can see that now that there is an empty space there for a text mesh pro element. So we're just going to go to our text and then drag that in that space. Now, if we head back into Visual Studio, I'm just going to delete that start method because I don't need it. Now I actually need to tell Unity what I actually want to happen with that lives text. So I'm gonna put this in the update method so it will check every frame for this. And what I wanna do is say lives text and I wanna access the text on that variable. And then I wanna set it equal to the lives manager dot player lives. And even though I wanna pass a number to that value, since we're accessing the text portion, it's technically still a string. So I need to use the two string part of that. And then I'm just going to put in quotations lives and then plus lives manager dot player lives. And now finally, if we head back over into Unity, it's not gonna look a whole lot different at first, but it should update as soon as I collide with something. And beautiful, there you have it. That is a very simple lives manager and how to update that via UI text. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, please like and subscribe if you liked it and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching.